Well, American football season is in full swing here in the United States. Football is at the heart of American sports culture. Despite its popularity, football players are susceptible to concussions. More than 10 years ago, Dr. Bennett Omalu discovered chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, a neurodegenerative disease found in people who have had multiple head injuries while conducting the autopsy of NFL Hall of Famer Mike Webster. In an exclusive interview, he discusses his journey to the breakthrough discovery. I wish I never met Mike Webster. Because my life after that case would never be the same. That case began on a cold, rainy Saturday morning in September up in the Allegheny Mountains of Pennsylvania in a city called Pittsburgh. I was the most junior pathologist. I had just completed my training as a neuropathologist three months earlier. Everybody was talking about this great American football player who had just died. But they were talking about him in very derogatory ways. I was offended by what I heard because as a forensic pathologist, my duty is to speak for the dead, to give voice to the voiceless. So I paid closer attention and I discovered that this individual played this game. I saw growing up in Nigeria on satellite TV every now and then, people dressed up like extraterrestrials running around the field with big head, broad padded shoulders and tiny legs. But I noticed as a child they would run into each other intentionally and slam violently into one another. I paid closer attention. I said, well, if this guy played this game over many years, that meant he must have sustained thousands of blows to his head. But at serendipity would have an accident to discover. When I got to work, guess who was on my autopsy table? Mike Webster. So when I realized it was him, that moment was an amalgamation of my entire life. I struggled with depression. He had depression. And another dimension to it is that through practicing forensic pathology and examining dead people, I discovered faith. I practiced my faith in my science and my science in my faith. And I had no reason to do an autopsy on Mike Webster. We knew why he died. He had a massive heart attack. But guess what? The spirit led me to do an autopsy on him. When I opened up his skull, I was expecting his brain to be mangled and diseased. His brain appeared normal. Examining his brain wasn't necessary, or performing special analysis of the brain was unnecessary. So I went to my boss, was a very intelligent, he's a very intelligent man, Dr. Cyril Weck. He allowed me to examine it as long as I, I paid for the uh, test. I said, sure. At some point, I actually took the brain home, and I examined it on my kitchen table, on my dining table. Luckily, I wasn't married. I didn't have any children. What were you looking for? I did not know. All I knew was there was something wrong. There was something wrong. So let's fast forward when you found what was wrong. When I saw, I remember that day, changes, abnormal changes in his brain. I actually did not believe it. I had to go back to the brain to make sure it was his brain. And I submitted another set of slides just to confirm. So when the second set of slides came back and I saw the same thing, I was afraid that I was being delusional. Remember, I was suffering from depression. So I decided to take the slides to two different doctors to confirm what I was seeing. So the two doctors I showed the slides to confirmed. They said, yes, this is something new. He's not a boxer, so he cannot be dementia pugilistic. Then what is it? So I went back to the library for almost six months. I searched the literature back to the time of Hippocrates. It had never been reported. But I recognized this was an occupational disease, and it was all a matter of time it would end up in the court of law. That what I had to do was find more brains of football players, but in the interim, I had to give it a name. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy doesn't really mean anything. All it simply means is a bad brain associated with trauma. Because I was afraid I could be wrong. 
So if down the road somebody proved me wrong, I would have wiggle room to exit and say, oh, after all, it doesn't mean anything. Then it sounded intellectually sophisticated because if it was intellectually sophisticated, people would be more likely to use it because it, it will give people some utility and people will be more likely to repeat it. And then it had a good acronym for those who cannot say they can always fall back to CTE. So, so we published the paper. What were you thinking when you came up with this result? Did you realize what a big deal this was, no. given the big deal that football was? Uh, I was a total ignoramus of football, American football. I did not know what a quarterback was. I did not know what a touchdown was. I did not even know what the NFL stood for. I was naive. But the humanity of my science and the humanity of my faith made me believe that this was a good thing. Guess what? It was not. We saw some reflection in the movie Concoction yes. played by Will Smith. I am the wrong person to have discovered this. If you don't speak for them, who will? On Thursday, in part two of my exclusive interview with Dr. Bennett Omalu, he elaborates on concussions in contact sports, including American football and how to protect children. He also discusses his new book, Truth Does Not Have a Side.